I want to ask you about the Chelsea situation. Um, Elise, talk to me. I'm so excited for that. If that genuinely happens, I'll be over the moon because he's one of he's one of my favourite young Prem players. Like he has so much potential. The only thing is is the attitude in terms of no, I don't. Maybe he doesn't have a bad attitude, but it's just the way he kind of presents himself when he's playing would make you think he might have an attitude. That might be the only thing where I'd go like, I'm not a hundred. 100%. But apart from mm. that, there's definitely the talents there, the techniques there, um, even the outputs there. Like last year, towards the end, like as it got to the more of the business end of the season, his outputs got a lot better. And I, he nearly got, I want to say, he nearly got double goals and assists. But he definitely he, got, he got, he got a lot 30, of assists. He got 13 goals and assists uh, in the Premier League yeah. last year, which isn't bad for a Palace side. Yeah. You know, and I think you put him into a better team. It's a player in there. I've, he's always been him and him and Eze. I've always liked and I've always rated. I've always felt that there's a little something, something in them, if that makes sense. That I, that I would that I quite rate. Um, it's just a shame it's Chelsea because um, I st I still kind of feel like Man United's right hand side could do with a bit of improvement. <laughs> I mean, look, Sancho's looked good in pre season, but I'm still not 110 percent um, convinced by him personally. But you know, he's, he's, he's decent. And uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Eli Wahi? I know he's going to go out on loan to St St Strasbourg, but it's another young, talented star that you're looking at bringing. Yeah, I've, I've never watched him, so I don't have much to like say on him as a player. Don't really have an opinion. Player. He's just highly touted. That's it. That's But he could be, you know, back, back Yoko. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so easy to be back. Yeah, okay. He could, he could. To be honest with you, you never quite, you never quite know. What's well, some more callers than Freddie and Trey and a few others backstage? We're going to bring onto the show uh, really, really soon uh, to have a chat with us. Uh, Terry City is a great club and everything, uh, but where do you see City after Pep? Pep is leaving in two years. Where will they be in five years? They'll still be a top four team, and they'll still be highly competitive, in my opinion. However, they. they, they Anyone can drop off, even well-run teams, if they bring in the wrong players, if they bring in the wrong manager, if they get that wrong. But they're so well-run that they're still going to be highly competitive, but there will be a drop-off. Because in my personal opinion, City will never have a team as good as this again. Every single great team in European football history, Man United's 99 team, we never matched it again. If you think about Barca's team under Pep, it was never as good before that. It's never been, it's been good after it, but never quite as good, never quite as dominant. Generally, the greatest teams, it's so hard to replicate them, especially so soon after. You could maybe look at Liverpool with Paisley and Shankly. That's, 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 that, but they're an anomaly rather than a rule. So there will be a drop-off, but they'll still be a highly competitive team in my personal, uh, in my personal, personal opinion. Um, I think most managers would steer clear of Mbappe because he causes issues in the changing rooms. Fantastic player, but let Madrid Madrid deal with him. Uh, you're shaking your head to that winter surfer. Talk to me, mate. A lot these people are telling me they don't want Mbappe. Sure, it's just like saying to someone they're gonna walk, they're gonna walk past a million pounds on the street. Do you know what I mean? No one does that. They're just gonna take Mbappe, uh, warts and all. Do you know what I mean? You just, Mbappe is a player you just take and you deal with it uh, when it happens. I mean, mm. I, I mean, I, I laugh at. I laugh at people who oh, look at his attitude. Yeah, look at his attitude in the World Cup final. Let's see that attitude. Because you get more that you get more of that attitude than you don't. So let's look at that. We took the nation on the back and nearly won it for them. Let's look at that attitude. The problem is, is the problem is not Mbappe, it's PSG. PSG had a problem for giving Mbappe all of that power. That's the problem. You give a person all of that power and they and and then you're surprised they take it. <laughs> why, 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 so it's like, oh, I didn't realize you gave okay, you everything and you're going to be like this, bro. You set this up, you set this up by the deal. You only gave him a two year deal, a two year deal, which means you had to negotiate the year after, or actually, 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 you had to negotiate probably the month after he signed a new deal for a new deal. <laughs> <laughs> that, was probably, that was probably Mbappe, though. That was smart for him to do that, that's, that's because, right? But yeah. that, that's and I understand that and held to and they held to ransom, but maybe they should. They should have just been more. They should be. More, they should be clever about it. Do you know what I mean? And now they're like, that's the problem. This is not like US sports where you can move a player without their consent. Okay, where you can literally trade them from one half of the side of the country to the other, and they don't know about it. Do you the know player what? has all the power? Yep. In and this, do you know what's crazy this. about it as well? 
journalists don't do this anymore, but they should. They should call out. They don't want to lose co- links. But they should have called out that when the new deal happened, we all said it was weird and stupid. From mm. everybody, like, why would Mbappe stay, like, stay in that league? Why would you guys do it and then risk losing him for nothing in two years? He should have been sold. He put, they should have sold him after two years because they would have, they would have got two hundred million pounds for him and been able to reinvest it. Whatever they're doing now, look, they've won their league. Wow, massive prize money in France. They didn't win the Champions League. The Mbappe project for PSG has been a failure because they didn't achieve that Champions League glory they didn't even win the prep the, 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 the league art every year now he's gonna leave for maybe 80 90 million euros <laughs> that that is dumb duh, duh, dumb and and it, it, it's a terrible decision from them uh ringy here says love uh martinelli but mbappe is mbappe i would swap thank you for being honest uh, <laughs> two, two goals all season terry but 13 ga sounds better well, that's what he got. He got 13. It's not about sounding better. It's the truth with, with the Lise. Um, He did get 13 GA in the Premier League. Yes, only two of them were goals. But I think there's talent in there. And I think a better team and a better club, he'll improve. Like, Do you agree? Like, Don, do you agree with that? Are you, are you excited about Lise coming in? Yeah, I rate him. I rate him. I don't know if you remember on the other the other day, I, I mentioned that um, City should be looking at him like to replace Mahrez because I... I rate him highly. When you look at his his stats last season, when it comes to the level of creativity, he was up there in Europe, all across Europe. And how he is as a player, he's really good on the ball. He's able to retain possession. You know, he's got end product as well. Again, you're looking at you're looking at Palace. If you look at him in a better team with that with that quality, you're looking at a, a guy that's going to get quite a lot of goals and a, and definitely a lot of assists. So I think he'll he'll fit into City like a glove. I would love him at Chelsea. Um, but yeah, I think I think he's a top player, man. Um, how old is he as well? Is he 22? 21. 21. 21. He used to play for Chelsea. I'm pretty sure he used to play for Chelsea as well. Hey, it's as sort of like a Declan Rice yeah. situation. Under, 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 like, yeah, under 10s or something. So yeah, then he left. He left, he left quite yeah. early. Um, but yeah, no, I like Olise. I really like Olise, man. I think he's good. Um, obviously, he's injured right now, but his injury record ain't bad. I think he's only had two injuries in his, in his whole career. So um, yeah, I'll be all for it, man. I'll be all for yeah. it. No, yeah. I, I said I said when Liverpool signed to Bosley, I that was a player that I really wanted because it's someone who can play out wide, can play central, and can create from many areas on the field, which is something that I felt that we've lacked for a really long time. And one thing I've been really happy with what Chelsea are doing right now is that every player we seem to be signing on the offensive side is someone who not only can contribute goals wise but can also link up very well. And I know yesterday's preseason game is, again, it's preseason. So, mm. you know, you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt. But you, you see the way that Mudrick and Jackson and Angelo and Madweke and all these players are, like, slowly coming together. And they're able to build, like, quite decent relationships where they can interlink and play well with each other. We haven't seen that kind of football in a really long time. Mm. A really long time. That's because they're, they're, this... they're not going to have... Um... I think that's because they're not going to have a lot of defensive responsibilities like in the last few matches. And this is what I was banging on about when it came to the recruitment team and the the profile of player we're looking at. I noticed the trend. We're we're looking at players that are comfortable on the ball from the the defence. Look at Badia Shield, comfortable on the ball. Enzo, comfortable on the ball. Even these new guys have come in. Angelo Gabriel, he's putting Sterling to shame, man. He's putting Sterling to shame. He's been on the pitch. That kid's got composure. So Bro. much composure, man. But boy, so I, will, I will say about last night's game as well. I've done a match reaction for the Arsenal United game, so I didn't have the energy. It was too late. I had to go to bed. But I did have the game on, on my laptop. In be- <sighs> Mahalo Mudrik's goal was ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Every Terry, did you see him pass to himself earlier in the game? Did you see what he literally... <laughs> Mate, he it, was, it was so good. I'm like, that's the kid that I was watching in the Champions League before. Yeah. Question here before we, we move on and bring other callers in. Uh, what about Madawiki? I think there's a... I see... I I think the I think Angelo is going to see him. He might go out on loan this season. There was a report that before he signed that he would go on to loan like Strasbourg. Obviously, they're going, to yeah. take, they're going to say, look at him. Madawaki hasn't even played any minutes of any um, preseason yet as well. So I think he'll go around. But that's if we get a, someone like Alise or a Kudus or something like that. Uh, but if we don't, he might stay. Um, just as an yeah. option. So. I, I look mm. at it this way. I get there's a lot of competition. I said earlier, look, if City come in for him and they say, look, we want you to be the main guy to replace yeah. him. Silver and, and Mares, that could be hard to compete with. Yeah, but at the same time, Chelsea. He's a, he's, he's. I know he's. He, I know he's. Fr- he's born in England, but he's French. I'm a bit confused about. He's born in England. He's French. He's got Nigerian parents. This guy's from everywhere. 
Yeah. I get that. <laughs> he's from everywhere. He's like a London boy, though, right? Yeah, no, he's from. Yeah, sure, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean. Like, I don't really personally. I, I don't think you know your passport's important for traveling, but you are where you are from. Do you know what I'm saying? And like, I know people that weren't. I got one of my best friends. He was born in Turkey, moved here when he was eight, but he's more Cockney than me. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean, he's Turkish passport, mm. but the man's a Londoner. That's what I'm saying. So there's a the thing. He's a Londoner, and I think that's with, with Elise. That could be a big, 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 big thing for him. I, I, I just, I just want to touch on on Sterling um, quickly, Terry. I was saying this earlier oh, on uh, ne Never a Foul. Yeah, like, listen again. It's preseason, but Sterling's been showed up by a lot of these new players I've come in um, on the ball yesterday. He looked really sloppy. You know, giving it away, decision making was poor, and it was the same thing against Wrexham. Um, the flip side, people were saying Angelo Gabriel hasn't got any like Premier League experience. We don't know if he's ready. But the guy's got over 100 appearances for Santos, I believe, right? He's been playing men's football. And in terms of his attributes, what I look at when I'm looking at attackers these days is how physical are you and have you got the ability to beat a man? And how comfortable are you with the ball at your feet? He ticks all those boxes. And Sterling right now, like I said, he's he's kind of sticking up like a sore thumb. So honest, honestly, when it comes to the season, he needs to hit the ground running because he's one of our highest paid players. Again, one of the, probably the most yeah, one of the most experienced players in, in our team as, 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 as alongside Silva. So, listen, if he doesn't fix up, he could find himself on the bench very soon. And before you know it, he's out of the club. So, he yeah, needs to he fix looks, up. He, he needs looks, to fix he, up. He looked, he looked stressed and under pressure last night and it's pre-season. Uh, this year says uh, Nicholas uh, Jackson was ridiculous. I, again, I was impressed with him. Touch looked good, strength, clean. Yeah, it could be 35 million there. euros 35, 35 million euros in this in this market for strikers madness and that, and that brings us on to our, our top